you have a pet, you need to listen to this. Hello Snowbirds, this is Rob from RV Travel Buddy and I'd like to talk to you about your pets. Now if you're going to come down south or you're going east in some places like Eastern Oregon or Eastern Washington, you need to start thinking about your pets and what tragedy we had happen right here at this bench. Two days ago, a gentleman came out here in the evening so it was getting dark and he had two little terriers and sitting right here at this bench, one of his dogs came up underneath the bench and got bit by a rattlesnake. Now it's very rare to actually see the rattlesnakes here, but there's a good reason for that. So let's talk about some of the things you need to know about if you're going to be in these southern states with your pet. One is it's starting to become fall here, so we get cooler nights. So rattlesnakes like to stay warm, they're a cold-blooded animal. So typically what will happen is if it starts getting cold on the ground or the rocks, snakes will tend to go on the road like what's behind me, you'll see them on the road more often, and they love concrete or big rocks that retain heat. And so in the evening it's not, or in the mornings too it happens, um, it's not unusual to see a rattlesnake out in the open and they're just sunning themselves or staying warm. And so that's exactly what happened here. Very rare that we ever see a rattlesnake here. Anyway, his dog went under this bench, got bit. Now what you need to know is typically, and this comes from our vet, dogs have about 20 minutes before they'll actually, they could actually die within 20 minutes of a snake, snake bite, depending on where they're bit. And typically, a dog gets bit in the face and uh, it's really sad. So there's a couple of things you need to make sure you do when you come down here. One is you need to be vigilant. You need to inspect the areas that you take your pet. In this dog park, which I showed you, has lots of room, but you need to inspect around to find out if there's a snake in the area. You need to be vigilant, just like terrorism. They ask us to be vigilant. You need to do the same thing with your dog. Next is do not let your dog run free in the terrain. There's snakes here, and dogs are curious, and they'll probably get bit. So another thing you may not know is, is there is a vaccine for dogs, for rattlesnakes. Now it's not a cure-all. There's a good and a bad. The good part is it's not that expensive. It's about $25, plus or minus, depending where you go. It's two shots. You get one shot, and then four weeks later, get a second shot. You're done for the year. It's. Uh, I had it done with Cinder and she had no side effects and it's a peace of mind. So what does the vaccine do? It buys you time. So you ne still need to get to a animal hospital which is open 24-7. There's three of them in this region. You need to make sure you know where they're at. So as soon as you get into your area, find out where the 24-7 animal clinics emergencies are that are open that you can go to in case your dog does get bit. And the vaccine will buy you the time to get to that emergency so they can get the anti-venom just like, just like humans. So that's all it does. It's not a cure-all. If they get bit, it's just as uh, important if it was a person or a dog to get to a clinic. So I can't emphasize enough. Be vigilant, inspect the areas that you're at, check out the, a veterinarian in the area and get a rattlesnake vaccine and have your stay down south here nice. So please, snowbirds, please listen to me. Please be responsible. There is rattlesnakes here. Hopefully you'll never see one, but if you do and your dog finds one, it could kill them. Be vigilant, get the vaccine. Thanks for watching. Bye now.
Thank you for watching our videos. Please take the time to subscribe and consider being a Patreon supporter. There is many more adventures and some big surprises coming in the future with your help. Thanks again.